and you can see when it gets fitted to the car, put a few stickers on there, it's very effective. Hi guys, it's Brett here from Hearns Hobbies and today I'd like to talk to you about painting. Um, it's not the be all and end all of painting, um, there's probably lots of different ways to do it. This is just actually how I, how I do a certain part of most of my bodies, um, a simple effect that I use to mimic carbon fibre. So <clears throat> here's what it'll hopefully look like at the end. You can see on, on top of the roof there and on the wing we've got that woven aramid fibre effect commonly referred to as uh, carbon fibre. So I've got a couple of wings here to do up and I'll talk you through how I get it done. So first we have our, our clear wing here. It's quite a sizable wing. It's um, absolutely to fit the, the Hyper 8 GT body and I thought I'd use such a big wing to try um, and really get some, some detail on it. Uh, I've got a base of non-slip draw liner here. That's what I'll use to, for my stencil effectively. Um, I like to use this stuff because it's quite uh, flexible and, and malleable if you want, easy to manipulate, lays down nice and clean, um, and sort of does replicate that, that pattern quite well. Uh, here I've got a couple of, of end plates. Now these will be attached to the end of the wing uh, upon, a, upon completion. And that will, you can see here how they've been oversprayed from the, the wheel arches of the body that I painted. I forgot to mask those up. Yeah, so we're going to be using the, the nine steps, uh, 100 series 0.3 mil airbrush. And I've got some Vallejo acrylic water-based paint here, which is one of my favorite versatile airbrushing paints. Um, it's easy to use, it's versatile. It's also very low odor, so you can paint inside quite quite reasonably um, without being too stinky. Um, then for a bit of effect, I've also got a, a Tamiya PS31 smoke color here, which is a really light black, and the PS5 that I'll back it with, and that'll really bring up the, the effect that we're after today. All right, so the first thing I'll start by doing is turning on the paint booth. So excuse the, the wind noise while I paint this up. And we're going to set about setting down our, our stencil, if you will, laying it on our wing. So I want a complete coverage. Um, you want it to sort of lay over nice and, and be nice and flat to, so otherwise the effect gets um, diluted or goes a bit, bit fuzzy and, and out of focus a bit. So here we've got the, a bit of test paper, got some paint. I'll give it a shake. I'm going to put a few drops in our airbrush. Actually, the first thing I'll do, the first part of the effect, is put the smoke on. Now, this is just to take the harshness out of the final of the effect. Excuse me while I shake it for a second very light applications. Fantastic. Next one. Now this polycarbonate, these wing sections have both been um, peeled off back in and also washed. Now I've just washed them with a mild detergent um, and that's to re release any, um, oh sorry, to clean off any release agents that were on the body to ensure that we've got a really good surface for our paint, our paintwork to sit on. I've got here a heat gun. Now I'm going to use that in between coats and that is really just to help force dry the body a little bit and get it to ensure that we've got a really good adhesion before our next color goes on. Fantastic. Shouldn't need much, it's only a very light coat. Beautiful. 
And you can see here, indeed, how it has really just tinted it ever so slightly. Again, just adds a little bit of depth to the effect. It's not critical. Everybody's got their own techniques. I'm going to lay the, the stencil down now. Okay, so I'm going to move on to the airbrush now. I'm going to give the paint a bit of a shake. Got our Vallejo water-based acrylic going in there, like so. Got our trusty Nine Steps 100 Series uh, airbrush, 0.3 mil, which is perfect for this application. Do a bit of a test pattern, and we are looking pretty good. I've got it turned up quite high, the acrylic is quite thick, but it's not like I'm doing really fine or intricate work. We're just literally shading in around our stencil. So I've got our stencil on and located. Thank you, Dave. Let's make a start. Now, it's going to be very hard for you guys to actually see. Especially while the stencil's on. It's a very forgiving uh, stencil, this carbon fiber look that I do. Hence why I do it. I'm not very competent with the airbrush, but more than enough to achieve some of the effects that we're going for. Here we go. Hang that back in. Okay, let's have a look. Come around this side. Try not to put my fingers all over it. Got our stencil mat over. Effectively just hosing it on. I'm gonna take the stencil off now. Pull it back gently, have a look at the look at the pattern. The pattern's very good. I can see the stencil's lifted a little bit here, so it's gonna come without moving it. Reapply. And I think sometimes when you do a little bit more uneven in coats sort of add to that hand laid woven effect. You can see there, got our stencil. Come and check on this side. It is looking pretty good. All right, I'm comfortable now to pull that stencil all the way off, put that to the side. And you can see the effect. Now it doesn't look much because we haven't backed it with the black yet. Next step that I'm going to do, I trust the old heat gun. Again, just get it to tack off. It wasn't heaps of paint down, so it should be pretty light. Perfect. So I can see here that I pre-cut this wing to show the difference. That's how it's going to look when it's on the car, as opposed to this one here, which is still the exact same wing, but an uncut. And you can see here the difference in effect. 
you can see the carbon fiber starting to come through. Next step, and all that it needs to finish it off, is the bucket, bucket with black. So for this, I'm gonna use the PS5 Premier paint. And again, just do lots of light coats instead of one heavy coat. There's no need to, to hose this stuff on. Start from the end plate. And there we go. Gonna hit that again with the heat gun. Nice light coat of black paint. So, heat guns or hair dryers are invaluable when you're painting. Really speeds up the time in between coats. The problem is if you don't dry in between coats, you'll get uh, bleeding and running of the colors, uh, sagging in your paintwork, something that I'm very guilty of. My patience usually runs thin when I'm painting. Hence why I do simple two color designs. That's, that's all we need for that. We'll turn it over. Da -da. And here we have our carbon fiber effect rear wing plate. You can see that it's really hand, looks nice and hand laid, it doesn't have to be all uniform. Um, and you can see when it gets fitted to the car, put a few stickers on there, it's very effective. Not all wings have to be clear. You can see here I've also done it on the roof panel. Yeah. So that is today's video on a carbon fiber effect painting. I'm Brett. Thanks for watching. <laughs>